This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So with this video, um, I thought of creating a new series on Cypress. You must be uh, hearing about uh, uh, a lot of heat, uh, a lot of good things are happening. A lot of good development is happening with respect to Cypress. And, uh, and it's not from the Selenium family. So I thought of creating okay a series on cypress also and if uh, i have i have got a couple of mails that some people are using cypress they are doing some pocs so my intention is to okay to give you why cypress is different from selenium how exactly it works because so far for whatever we have seen that uh, either you are using selenium either you are using webdriver io either you are using protector or any uh, selenium based tool everything is working under Okay, with Selenium only. It's coming from Selenium family only. So Cypress is uh, totally different from Selenium. That's the only tool available in the market in terms of uh, a test automation point of view, uh, which is not coming from Selenium family. In fact, Catalon also from Selenium. Okay, on uh, under the hood, uh, Catalon is calling Selenium only. So there are a lot of multiple tools are available. That's the biggest success of uh, Selenium in the market that people are adopting it communities are adopting adopting it a lot of new tools are available in the market and everything so cypress is another okay another thing that we have in the market which is uh, again open source as of now and i hope it will be open source okay in future also so what we have to do that uh, uh, i'll tell you some more important things but this is official website you can see that okay you can go to docs.cypress.io and or if you really want to search you can simply search for uh, cypress and go to this okay it's simply saying that okay the web has evolved finally testing has to so there have uh, given a lot of community this is the official website and then uh, community blogs are available their docs are available so you do one thing you directly jump to docs and uh, here it's clearly saying okay why cypress so they say that okay according to their official documentation that cypress is a next generation front-end testing tool <clears throat> especially for modern web designing we have a lot of uh, react based application angular based application and there are a lot of pain points with respect to uh, synchronization weight mechanism edX component okay end-to-end -end test case designing and everything so cypress target is that okay to create a better a less uh you know unstable test cases and okay and the execution also will be very faster as compared to other tools that is what they claim that and we will see eventually okay in this particular series and uh, it's clearly written that cypress is most often compared to selenium obviously that is the most <laughs> biggest comparison in the market in automation industry that okay cypress is the most compared to selenium however cypress is both fundamentally and architecturally totally different from selenium and i'll tell you what is selenium architecture that we have already seen that but i'll tell you what is cypress architecture so cypress is not constrained by the same restrictions as selenium so obviously that is they, their claim and that is their point and this enables to write faster easier and more reliable test cases that is really good over here now who uses cypress cypress can be used by the qa guy cypress can be used by the ui developer guy also for writing their unit level test cases actually it was built for uh, dev guy for dev unit level test cases it was built but later on it uh, enhanced and now adopted by qa communities also and a lot of automation engineers they have started using it so cypress enable you to write test cases end-to-end -end test cases integration test cases and unit test cases also now it's up to you unit test cases integration test cases can be written by developers end-to-end -end functional test cases can be written by uh, uh, qa automation engineers okay and then cypress can test anything that runs in the browser in a browser so whatever it sees in the browser it's not at all a desktop application okay it cannot automate desktop application and it runs everything inside the browser that is the main crux of cypress that's why it is totally different from selenium because selenium does not run inside the browser selenium is out of the browser okay but cypress is actually sitting inside the browser and running it over there so we will see what is the architecture and everything and then you can see there are different features uh, debugging and screenshot and you can take the videos at the right 
different time. There are a lot of features are available, how to write the test cases and everything. So I'm not going with all these things because we will be covering in next upcoming uh, sessions, how to write the test cases and everything like that. So what you have to do, you have to download Cypress now. Okay, but before downloading Cypress guys, I'll just quickly tell you the basic architecture of Cypress. This is something very important to understand. Then only you will enjoy Cypress. Otherwise, uh, you will always be confused at okay, why it is happening like this? What is the process? What is the architecture? Just the way we have learned about, uh, you know, Selenium that how exactly uh, Chrome driver, the binary will be executed through the server and then be ascending the JSON via protocol, sending a request to JSON via protocol to the server and then server is creating maintaining one session ID and then sending the request to the you know request to the browser and running on the app and then clicking on a button that is selenium process right so quickly uh, I'll show you what is the process for this guy also for Cypress also because without that I really don't want to proceed further so let me just uh, open a new oh, sorry about that so okay so the typical selenium concept that we have already seen that okay this is your script where number of methods are written over here and this is your okay the chrome binary is available and your server is up and running over here and then this is your uh, browser where uh, your app is running over here amazon.com or whatever this is your app we are running it and this is your code that you have uh, written over here and this is my standalone selenium uh, server which is running over there right and my what we have to do, we have to download Chrome a driver binary over here. Remember Chrome driver.exe and everything. And we are sending a request to the JSON via protocol and it will uh, server will read the request and let's see dot click or launch the browser. It will launch the browser. Next request is that okay, hey, do do a button click. So button click and then do something else. Let's see send keys, then get it over there. Give me the title of the page. So we are sending the request to the server. Server will come over here and then it's uh, executing getting the title and in the response we are getting a title in the response we are getting a string over there like that it will be executed and it will maintain remember that one session id the moment you write web driver driver equal to new chrome driver the session id will be maintained and the same session id will be maintained for each and every request within the same session the moment you write driver dot quit over here the session id is expired the session id is gone the moment session id is gone i cannot execute any other command to the server i cannot send any command to the server server it will immediately say that okay hey you are using uh you are using selenium after quit that's why this id is gone as this id is expired so ultimately what i'm saying is that this is a chrome binary is running same thing we have geeko driver and other browsers are running and then we are sending the request and response through json via protocol but here in in Cypress, it's totally different ways. In Cypress, what is happening? This is your uh, node server is running. So Cypress runs on node server. It takes help from node server. So we will install node, it is node based, node.js. And then what exactly we will do that we are your application. Okay, this is your browser actually. On your browser, what is happening? On the browser, your application is running over here. This is my application whatever amazon.com or whatever and then cypress what exactly it will do cypress will okay cypress is sitting over here actually for you so this is my cypress on the browser so i would say cy cy means cypress so cypress is sitting over here on the browser and now you must be thinking like okay, then what is the use of this node so let's say this particular this is your operating system mac os or linux or windows you install node over here you install <clears throat> a cypress package over here the node package and then cypress is also running over here at the client side also <clears throat> okay in the form of one node server is running over there and then it will maintain one proxies okay it will maintain one proxy server so let's see this is a proxy which will be created okay in your system on this particular operating system via node so one proxy server will be created over here and then what exactly is doing whatever the code that we are writing everything has to be gone through this particular node server we are sending the request to this guy okay so we will start the proxy over here and what is happening cypress can access everything over here whatever okay it's okay with respect to application with respect to browser 
So in your application, whatever number of things Cypress can access. So Cypress can access the application DOM directly over here. If the Cypress is not running at the server side, Cypress is running inside the browser. Remember this thing, guys. Okay, so Cypress can access the DOM. Cypress can access all the window objects. Okay. Whatever the window object is available for that particular browser, Cypress can access that. Cypress can access the local storage of that particular browser. Cypress can access any network layer. Cypress can access the Chrome Dev Tools or any Dev Tools for that particular browser. So Cypress will be having access on it. Why? Because Cypress is actually sitting inside the browser. So whatever you can see, you see the page source, you see the DOM structure, you see their uh, uh, window object or any kind of uh, a browser objects are available. Cypress is okay, can interact with those guys. Okay, like that. But Selenium, that's the difference. Selenium is running out of the browser and sending the request via server and server is hitting the things over here. But here, nothing. What exactly it's doing? It's simply starting the server. Okay, it's starting the proxy and now Cypress is ready and then it will just capture the command from the node server and then executing on the browser only. That's it. A very simple architecture. Whatever your iframe is there or DOM is there or any button is there or whatever, everything will be executed over here and your test is running over here. Okay, your test is running over here. So I have one, uh, let me quickly show you, I got this really good, uh, uh, yeah, this one. If you take this particular uh, example, let me just open in a, you will understand it better, just a second. And open this. Okay, now see, this is the basic architecture of Cypress. So as I told you that uh, this is the node.js process is running on your operating system and through the proxy it will make the connection and this is your browser where your Cypress tests are running and this is your application which is running on the browser. So this is this section the right hand side is complete browser where on the browser my tests are running and then on the browser your application is also running. Okay, so Cypress will launch this particular browser whatever Chrome is there and Firefox is there or Internet Explorer is there but Firefox uh, development is still going on, but now it's fully supported with uh, Chrome as well as Electron browsers and everything also. So I'll show you those things as well later, but it is running on the browser. That's a simple architecture is available over here. Okay, and through the proxy, it will get the request that, okay, hey, which test you want to execute, which, okay, and then it will send the response via proxy only, which is running through Node.js process over here. So it will start the proxy and through the web socket and everything it will make the connection. So there is no JSON via protocol or post call or get call with respect to session IDs and all those things. Nothing like that. Okay, just like in Selenium we used to do that. Okay, it's nothing like that over here. So that's why everything is running on the browser. Right, so that is the first thing that you need to remember. I'll just share this. Uh, okay, this diagram also if someone wants to see that now. Next thing is guys that you have to understand that uh, why Cypress like why the, uh, there are so many things with respect to Selenium. So let's take an example of uh, one more thing. Let's see you're talking about any any JavaScript. Let's see WebDriver JavaScript tool. So in WebDriver JavaScript tool what do you do in WebDriver JavaScript tool is your typical technologies that you will be using what so let's see this is my application where my test cases are running over here and then what do you need you need to install Selenium over here then you need some uh, you know you need to design some framework for designing the framework let's say i need mocha i need jasmine i need uh, let's see karma or i need some other another tool <coughs> which is available over here then you need some assertion library let's see chai is the assertion library then you need what some additional library that you have to add it over here then you need what then you need some uh, some tool let's see maybe uh, protector or maybe webdriver io or maybe nightwatch.js or web driver javascript if you want to use that so a lot of things you have to do it over here right so i let's see this is my chai chai for assertion we will be writing it these are my what these are my uh, framework libraries framework tools that i'll be using let's see i'll be using mocha i'll be using jasmine uh, you can use karma also okay if you really want to use that and there are a number of tools are available 
I'm talking about typical JavaScript. And this is your what? This is your end-to-end uh, -end test. Okay, you have to uh, design over here. Then some additional library that okay, some other different libraries that you have to add it. Let's see for JSON parser or whatever you want to write it with respect to JavaScript. You can do that. And which tool you have to prefer? Let's say I'm preferring WebDriver IO. I want to use uh, Cyp oh, sorry, uh, a protector. I want to use uh, Nightwatch.js. I want to use Puppeteer. I want to use Tygo. I want to use uh, anything else, okay, with respect to Selenium. Let's say I want to use WebDriver JS also, right? So to design your end-to-end -end test cases, you need multiple things. So you need this thing, you need uh, this thing, you need uh, uh, you need to install Selenium, you need all these uh, tools which are available over here, and then you need some extra libraries also, like that. So this is a typical, okay, framework part that you okay to design the technologies and everything. You have to use that, but cypress is one single army cypress says that okay you don't okay need anything so cypress says that you just install cypress and we will give you everything but one limitation is there with respect to cypress is right, that you cannot use any other language other than javascript okay so there are obviously advantages and disadvantages also there but we will talk about those things later but this is your browser this is your end-to-end -end test cases and to design your end-to-end -end test cases everything is available inside okay inside the same package so you just need to install cypress on your system okay this is my uh, cypress on my system and you just you will get everything you will get mocha by default they use mocha for writing the test cases and everything okay any kind of assertions and everything you have to use you don't need to add any external uh, library and it will directly execute on your browser and this is your application that's it. that's a very simple thing okay they made it very very simple over there like that so you don't need to maintain any other third party dependencies and all those things you can simply do that if it is needed you can do that but most of the things are provided by cypress only like that so this is the basic thing about cypress okay now how to install to install this thing guys first thing you have to install node on your system so simple please download node.js so i'm pretty much sure that okay most of the people they are already having node.js if you don't have please download this download node.js i'm not going to download it. it's very simple very straightforward either windows or mac or okay you can pick and then you please download that okay if you download via uh, homebrew or scoop also you can do that so please download node.js on your system okay when you download that you open your terminal and quickly check that okay let me clear my console quickly check that okay that what is my node version oh, sorry so my node version is this okay so make sure node.js is available on your system then only cypress will work because the main architecture of cypress is it's running on the node actually okay so whatever the cypress uh, package that you will download it's coming from okay it requires node actually okay so let's see how to do that for doing this they have uh, given very good installation documentation it's very simple there are multiple ways of doing it so let's go to installing doing that so basic system requirement says that okay it's uh, cypress is actually available in the form of desktop application which is running on your system as i told you that cypress you have to install on your client this is my machine actually this is my operating system as i told you okay on your operating system you need to install cypress right and then you will create a proxy uh, node server and this is your browser and then you will maintain the proxy and then cypress is running over here on your browser that's it okay this is a simple basic architecture you have to follow so that's why it's saying that it's available in the form of desktop application so i'll show you what kind of desktop application they are talking about and we will see that that will behave like a runner for us and it will be supported by these operating systems you can execute on mac machine linux machine and windows machine right and if you're using npm to install cypress we support node.js 8 and above so make sure that you have node.js above 8 okay about eight version about version eight after that what you have to do okay you have to install cypress using this but 
you pick any uh, specific uh, editor let's see we will be picking the visual studio code because uh, we will be writing our code in javascript obviously because cypress supports only javascript and you must have seen my web driver io series also that uh, we were using javascript and we were using this uh, uh, visual studio code over here now what you do just follow the exact same process either you are using windows or mac machine that doesn't matter you go to your uh, c drive or d drive or anywhere so let's say i'll go to my uh, just a second this is my c drive or let's sorry in my documents i'll go and uh, i'll create a new folder over here so let's see i'll create cypress practice for uh, cypress practice for let's see i'm just giving some name youtube like this whatever the name you want to give my cypress practice or my cypress uh, coding practice whatever you want to write you can simply write it okay so create a folder that's it now you open your favorite uh, visual studio code or any editor what you have to do you just need to go to uh, go to new and click on add folder to workspace okay add folder to workspace when you click on add folder to workspace you go to that particular folder where exactly that you have created so go to that particular directory and cypress practice youtube click on add when you open that you can see that okay cypress practice youtube got created you can see i hope you can see it i cannot maximize it yeah i can, yeah, I can do that perfect see like this so it got created over here what you have to do you have to right click on it and open in terminal simple click on open in terminal so this is called terminal you can see that okay this is the terminal and make sure that okay you are in this particular directory so in uh, visual studio code you can execute your uh, you can use your terminal by default inside the tool only inside editor only or if you really want to go to your uh, terminal or command prompt from there also you can do that but i would prefer to do this thing over here so this is the uh, youtube project got created cypress practice youtube project got created right now it's blank nothing is there this is just a blank folder right now what you have to do after that you have to write npm initialize npm in it so always remember guys whenever you want to use any node based javascript project you always on the blank folder you have to write npm in it either it is cypress protector web driver io nightwatch puppeteer or any kind of javascript tool you are using it you have to use npm in it it means npm initialize simple enter it and then it will ask you a couple of questions that okay hey what is your package name All right so let's say i'm giving my package name is uh, cypress practice version 1.0.0 yeah that's fine description this is for whatever cypress practice entry key point index.js yes okay test command right now no get repository right now we are not maintaining it enter keywords nothing author if you really want to give an author let's see now we can put it up license simple basic license and is this okay yes and that's it so the moment you do this automatically what will happen one package.json got created over here this is just like a pom.xml file where you will define your uh name project dependencies and everything you will be defining over here okay after that if you remember that in webdriver io we used to install a lot of dependencies for separately webdriver io webdriver mocha webdriver grunt webdriver jasmine webdriver okay so many things we need to do that but here we just take now this particular command npm install cypress hyphen hyphens dev dependency you want to use that for your okay locally as a dev dependency on your project so you come over here let me clear the console make sure you are in the same project directory and copy this command npm install cypress hyphen hyphen save dev enter it and now it will install cypress on your okay on your system inside this particular project directory it takes some time make sure you are connected to internet and it's very fast and it's done it's saying cypress 4.7.0 is installed over here under this particular directory inside your library cache something like this okay got created make sure once this is done this is your project okay and this node module should be created over here it means it's taking node obviously as a node js server it will start right so make sure all the node modules are available 
and make sure that okay this package.json is available and one more file package lock.json having some more extra attributes about their project available over here but we are not bothered about it so we just will close it okay after that what you have to do after that it's saying simple and uh, there are other ways also you can download cypress by, by using uh, yon command also you can directly download the zip file and you can un uninstall it and then as a uh, as a uh, maven uh, sorry as an npm <coughs> package you have to use that sim they have given some video also but i don't prefer that and they have clearly written over here the best recommendation approach is to install cypress via npm because cypress is a version like any other dependency and it's uh, simplifies running cypress in continuous integration also so please follow don't download through yawn or, yawn or down okay direct download use it just command and that's it only one single command you have to do that and cypress is available not like a web driver io or other folks you have to install uh, multiple dependencies around seven to eight dependencies in webdriver i but they have given everything within the package only right now what exactly cypress does that okay internally they are using one cypress binary over here see it's written uh notice that cypress cypress this npm package so whatever the package that you have installed right recently with this particular command this package is actually wrapper around the cypress binary so they are using a cypress binary internally and it will take the latest version of that particular binary okay so it's 3.0 or 4.0 or whatever it will download the latest version of the binary and it will store in your project okay <clears throat> now so this is this part is done now how to open the cypress how to launch the cypress now so to launch the cypress what they say that if you used npm obviously we have used npm so cypress has now been installed to your node module directory in which directory node module bin directory so let me check we will go to node modules go to dot bin and here you can see that cypress is available <coughs> right so we have to open the cypress from this particular directory so how will you open that so this is the command that you have to go go to the node module from this is my project root directory node modules bin cypress and open that's it so let's see it is opening or not let me just close this command prompt okay so uh, this is my terminal and then simple write node modules bin cypress so make sure that okay bin cypress is available otherwise it will not open it means you have done some mistake over there and then you simply enter the moment you enter it will launch the cypress over here you can see that okay one cypress is getting launched like this and then it's saying some uh, okay some help so simply click on okay and uh, let me just maximize it like this so this is the desktop application for cypress and it's supporting right now chrome 83 and firefox 76 in beta version and electron 80 also <coughs> okay so we will talk about these guys later but as of now initially we will be executing okay on google chrome and then here you see the number of examples are available over here that okay they have given some examples how to put uh, cookies and file and uh, location and uh, navigation network there are a lot of commands actions how to perform some actions using cypress number of things they have given so what you do you click on any other any specific js you simply click on it and it will start launching the browser and it will give you a demo see this is what a browser is getting launched and cypress is actually running inside the browser you can see that this is the application they are using it example cypress.io this is a web application and then see they're executing one by one all the commands can you see that see type focus blur clear like that you can simply do that and one by one they are executing all the things over there and you can simply do that so this is just an example they have given over here some other example if you really want to see their example now you close the browser okay just close it from here let's see uh, cypress uh, uh, let's see waiting so again you launch this and here you will see that uh, okay cypress dot wait wait for a specific route okay they are filling this information and that's it so like this you can simply do that and this is the url so you, what do you see see okay, this is the browser right this is my chrome browser and the cypress is running over here right so this is called my cypress runner cypress runner 
this is called my cypress runner and this is called my browser and you can see that cypress is running over here and the right hand side it's showing the application view and you can do anything whatever you want to do that so let's say i want to right click on it and you go to inspect you can inspect the element also you can open the dom also it means cypress can access the dom also over here you can access console you can access source you can access network whatever the things are available you can access it this is the advantage the cypress can directly have in the access on the browser properties whatever you can see on the browser selenium does not have that selenium is trying to access through protocols through uh, w3c json wire protocols but here it's nothing like that right now you can see that uh, utilities and cypress apis a lot of things you can see over here like that but this is a really good thing you can take any example right so okay now here you see that uh, this is the integration test let's see they have given some examples over there now what you have to do you have to open your visual studio code and now cypress is ready and in the console in the terminal don't terminate that in the terminal you can see all the requests that ever whatever test cases that you are running and through the node.js server what are the different apis are running in the background all the backend services you can see it over here during execution and you see that your cypress.json sorry uh, package.json you will see like that and when you download cypress right guys it will download the cypress.json also it will automatically create one cypress.json also we will talk about what is cypress.json all the cypress configuration you can write it over here now what you do you open the cypress so don't touch node dot modules this node module is just like my maven dependencies and now i'll open this cypress and here you can see fixture integration plugin and support so we will open this integration folder and here you can see all the examples are running over here so if you really want to take a reference of any example you can take that but we are not going to create any example we will write our own script over here right so this is the way you can do that second thing is that if you have uh, by using npx also you can launch the browser i mean launch the cypress so simple NP, uh, npx cypress also you can do that you have to install npx but you can directly write like this also okay you can simply do this thing after that it's saying that if you really want to open cypress using package.json that also you can do that so simple they say that okay hey you have to add this particular script in your package.json so i'll do one thing this is the script and then i copy this and i'll go to my package.json and here you can see that this is a script part and i copy paste over here like this so this is the script command i'll be using cypress open what is my script name cypress open it means please open the cypress okay now i'll do one thing i'll close my cypress from here close my desktop application for cypress i'll do one thing now uh i'll okay clear the console oh, sorry 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 not here clear the console and now see run this particular command what command cypress open they have written this npm run cypress open okay so whatever the tag name that you have given my tag name is cypress open tag it means npm run cypress open you remember that how to execute your test cases simple right npm run test so whatever the test files that you have written it will be executed simple right npm run cypress colon open so this is another way of opening the cypress and you run it and you will see that cypress will be opened over here once again can you see that see it's launching over here see cypress got launched okay and the same thing you can do it over here like that now just close this package.json and uh, this is done after that there are some other information about their configurations and environment variables and if you really download any specific version you can do that so those things are not important you just forget about those things now now how will you write your first test over here and we will see how exactly cypress is running so we'll just give you some very basic example today what you do you go to cypress under this particular integration folder right you create one more folder right click on it uh, sorry right click on it and create a new folder just like a package we create in java right same thing you have to do it over here let's see uh, my test you create a folder and under this particular test okay under this particular test you create a file new file and you have to create a javascript file so let's see i'm giving some 
uh, sample dot js okay make sure you are writing dot js js means javascript and you have to write some javascript code over here now let's see by default cypress uses mocha okay so mocha is just like test ng to write your test cases okay so just like we have j unit php unit and then we have uh, you know n unit for c sharp so Cyp mocha is another unit level testing framework for javascript so what you have to do we have to use java okay mocha over here the same mocha we were using with uh web driver i also in protector we can use jasmine also so jasmine and mocha these are the two unit level testing frameworks available for javascript what you need to do you have to start writing your test case with describe keyword okay and then here you have to write that okay hey what, what is the feature you want to write so let's see i'll write i simply say that okay yeah this is my simple test okay and then here this is my calling callback function i have to write it like this with lambda <clears throat> and then you have to start writing your test cases with it block okay simple write one it block and then what is the test case name so it like just like at the rate test annotation and you can write multiple it blocks over here okay and this is my suite level under the suite i can create multiple tests over here so what is let's see uh, i simple write that does not match comma callback function with lambda like this okay and then i simple write one basic assertion that uh, expect Okay, I'm expecting true dot two dot equal. It should be equal to. So I'm writing one assertion that okay, it should be equal to true only. Let's say I'm writing like this. That's it. So expect true dot two dot equal this. Okay, and then you simply save this file. The moment you save it, it will be visible in your runner also. Can you see that sample dot js? This my test folder got created and sample.js got created so immediately it will be reflected over here as well okay in your runner so you don't need to execute from here you have to execute from here later on you can execute from here or also but that i'll show you later so you just go to your runner in your cypress desktop application and just click on sample.js and now you see the browser is running okay so this is my node server is running on my local host on this particular port number this is a test integration my test and sample.js is running and it's saying what can you see that my test case got passed assertion got passed yes this but i'm not using any web application i'm simple using one simple basic calculation i have done true or false that's it and it's saying that okay uh, this is a default blank page that test your web application start your web server cy dot visit your app and then begin writing your test cases fine okay that we will do that and you can see this is a dom snapshot also will be there now a basic I, i'll i'll make it fail so simple click on false <clears throat> the moment you click on false over here immediately it will be executed you don't need to execute once again this is see this is so fast the moment you write false over here immediately it got executed see it's saying assertion error expect is not equal to false i mean true is not equal to false now you make it true once again and then the moment you save it it got passed over here it's super fast guys okay now this is a simple test that we have written now close the browser we don't need that and uh, we will write a simple test now how to launch a browser now so again under my test go to new file and uh, my new file is what my new file let's see i'm going to create that uh, let's say i want to click on on a specific link or something so let's see uh, url or url underscore test or let's see element underscore test dot js file okay so this is what i have created now right now same thing i'll be writing first everything we have to start with the uh, describe over here <laughs> okay and what is the okay name of the describe so i simply say that okay let's see uh, launch my app whatever 
uh, instead of this, we can write a callback function like this actually. Okay, comma equal to lambda, you have to write it. Okay. And now you have to write one it block. And what is the test? So let's see, I simply say that uh, any application, let's see app testing, comma. And uh, this is my callback function. Okay. And uh, I simply write it like this. Now, what you have to do, you have to run use cy. So cy is an object of Cypress. So cy dot test, you have to write it. So simple write cy dot test and uh, sorry, yeah, cy, you have to you have to write it and simple write cy dot visit. So cy dot visit to launch your URL. Any, any URL you can pick, google.com or whatever. So let's say I'm going to launch some, let's say I'm going to launch freshworks.com. Okay, this particular site I'll be launching. So you simple paste over here. Okay, so simple launch this. And I want to verify something that, okay, hey, when you launch this, <clears throat> you verify that platform is uh, there or not. So I simple write a cy dot, it contains so we will talk about different methods also later but i'm just writing let's see platform so p capital this particular link is available or not okay then i want to verify that okay you have to click on it if it contains platform i simply write platform then you do a click over here okay then you click on it and when you click on it so let's say i just click on this platform when I click on it, it's saying that, okay, the URL in the URL platform is coming. So I want to write an assertion over here. And then you simply write that cy.url. Okay, then I'll write, it should have, okay, or it should include, what? It should include, let's see this platform. This is my assertion that I have written. Now, in Cypress, the good thing is, you don't need to write any weight no mechanism of synchronization it will wait automatically no explicitly wait no implicitly wait nothing it will wait automatically okay so let's see a simple test i have written and then i'll come over here and let's see it is launching or not so you can see that element test.js got okay created you click on it the moment you click on it you will see my test will start and you can see in the right hand side that this application is running freshworks and then and you can see that it's capturing the backend calls also all the network layer calls also it is capturing over here see it is still visiting because the site is still loading over here right maybe the site is heavy or okay site is still taking some time to launch it and you can see the timing over here my test is still running because there are, you can see that okay there are multiple Okay, backend calls are running. So once all the backend calls are done, and you can see that, okay, yeah, it's clicking on platform. And once the platform is done, your test case is, is still running. And we are verifying that in the URL, this platform is there or not, but you can see it's still loading. Okay, so Cypress is still checking a lot of things because in the background, a lot of backend things are happening. Okay, so once the page is fully loaded, so see, it's seeing, can you see that? waiting for <clears throat> new page to load so pay this this is, is still running okay and then once it is done your assertion is passed in the green color everything is passed yes this assertion is passed okay freshworks platform to include platform and your test is passed green green means green check there is no failure yeah don't worry this is post got failed i mean the backend call got failed that we are not bothered about it okay but this is the main step that you have written you can simply do that and you can see it's clicking on plat okay platform page just the way we have clicked on it over here and it's doing over here right and the good thing is see it will attach the dom also the dom snapshot also attach over here you can unpin also or you can simple okay attach the dom also you can simply let's see go to marketplace okay sorry uh, let's go to back to platform 
and we will see the DOM snapshot also will be visible over here. And that I'll show you later. Right? You can simply do that. And then you click on this uh, open selector playground, this icon. You click on it, and here you can ins do whatever. Let's see, uh, we clicked on where? We clicked on this. Um, okay. Uh, we, this is the thing. And we clicked on this contains platform, right? So it's showing the same platform over here. Yeah, it contains platform. And uh, okay, the same thing you can do that. And then later I'll show you there are multiple features are available, guys. You can inspect the elevator, you can get the suggested selector and everything. So right now, let me just close this. We are not bothered about it, but you see that okay, my test is actually got passed over here. Okay, don't worry, we will see this uh, open selector playground later. You can debug. This is actually used for debugging point of view that I'll show you later, but you can see it over here like that. Okay. Simple. Right. So that's all for this particular uh, example in Cypress. If you really want to write one more example, you can do it later. Okay, that I'll show you. Maybe I can show you right away. Let's see how to click on a button. How will you pass the send keys and everything? So I'll show you quickly. So right click on it and create a new file. Let's see. Uh, login test.js. I got created and I'm already maintaining. I'll show you. I've already created one basics example. Let's see this. Uh, yeah, just copy this and go to your login test and paste it over here. So simple test I have written over here. See, I'll show you. This is I'm launching my classic CRM PRO.com. And one more thing you need to remember guys that in Cypress, we cannot use any other selector. I can use only and only CSS selector and jQuery selector. There is no other selector. I cannot use, although XPath you can do that with some plugin, but ID and all those things, but directly there is no by dot ID on like that. Everything has to be used in the form of CSS selector. So see, I'm launching this particular URL. After that, I'm checking that, okay, get the title, CY dot title, and it should have this title. Okay, should have. This is the title of the C, okay, classic CRM .com. So this is the uh, site. And you see that, okay, this is the title. So right click on it and go to view page source. And you can see that this is a title. Okay. And this is a title that I have written over here. You can see this is a title I have written, the same title. So I'm matching one assertion. It means you get the title and assert it immediately. And after that, I have to enter my username password. So this is the username and this is the password that I have to enter. So you right click on it and you inspect this guy. So here inspection, you see that okay, name equal to username, but I cannot use by dot name over there because there is no name locator. So to get the element, we have to use cy dot get. This is just for get the element, just like find element. Okay, just like driver dot find element. So here we use cypress dot get which element. This is the element. So here this is a CSS selector. Now if you are poor in CSS selector guys, please watch my video how to uh, how to uh, learn how to be the best in CSS, how to become the best in CSS. I've explained over there. Input name equal to username and dots and keys. Instead of dots and keys, you have to use dot type. And this is a username. Same thing. Input name equal to password. Dot type is equal to this. CY dot get input type equal to submit dot click. You have to click on this particular button. And after that, again, I'm checking the title after login. So after login, let's see when you click on this particular login button, I'm checking what is the title. The title is CRM Pro. So I'm checking the title. Okay. And then I'm simple. Let's see. Just I'm checking the title. Forget about this. Click. Right. And then you save it. And then you come over here. You just close this earlier Cypress. <coughs> and you check this uh, login test got created. And you simple. Click on it and let's see the test case are running or not. Okay, so it's launching my classic crmpro.com. See, see, it's still waiting and it will check all the background. Okay, and here you can see that, uh, okay, everything is fine. It's coming over here on my home page after logging, but my test got failed. Why? It's saying that it's a Cypress error. It's saying the Cypress detected a cross origin error happened on this particular page load. It means 
you're launching classic crm pro.com but you are learn okay you are coming on different website now classic free crm.com are you getting a point see this is something very important this is according to the w3c standard okay see this is classic crm pro.com but the moment i log in it's navigating to classic free crm.com it means your domain is getting changed so cypress is very strict about it cypress says that okay if you see the error it says cypress detected a cross origin error that's why they blocked a frame with origin and you are accessing from this particular site and it's uh, changing after that the new url does not match the origin policy if the protocol port and specified or host okay are different so it's saying that okay the new url <coughs> the next page url is getting changed see just like amazon.com you click on a product so it may be like amazon.com slash a new product name but it's not like instead of amazon.com is showing something else so your basic domain the basic the base url will always be same that's why it's saying the cypress does not allow you to navigate to a different origin url within a single test so you may need to restructure some of your test code to avoid this problem or alternatively you go to your cypress dot uh, json it's saying alternatively you can also disable chrome web security in chromium based browser which will turn off this restriction by setting chrome driver security false so you just copy this particular setting over here okay and this particular setting you need to copy the setting and you go to your cypress.json file <coughs> you can see that cypress.json that got created over here right guys and inside this you just simple paste it over here so my chrome security is false so i'm not using any cross origin policy over here it means chrome web security is false that's it the moment you save it you come over here and then you close your browser and uh, okay let me open the cypress once again let's go to terminal we will open the cypress once again and we will run this particular test once again okay so cypress is getting open you can see perfect and uh, this is my login test so earlier it was getting failed my test case was actually running fine no assertion no element problem no uh, uh, you know locator problem but just because of that error test case was getting failed now let's see it is running or not so it should launch my classic crm and uh, it is moving to classic free crm after login perfect see it's entering the username password and uh, my test is done absolutely working fine right you can see that my test is getting passed now there is no error over here so if you are getting that particular error guys please use this chrome web security falls under cypress.json right and here you will see that all the commands the background commands are still run okay in that terminal perfect and you close the browser that's it if you really want to close once your practice is done you can simply close it or you can simply stop the server stop it okay so that's all for today it's a very very basic thing about how to what is cypress why it is different from selenium and how to install it what is the architecture and then some basic very simple test cases that we have written with respect to cypress and running through cypress runner okay through cypress test runner i'll be keep preparing more and more videos about it and then eventually you will get to know why it is different from selenium so thank you so much for watching this particular guys and uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet please please and then click on the subscribe button and there is a notification icon also the bell icon also please click on it so that you will be notified whenever there is a new video on my channel so thank you so much guys thanks for watching this video if you have any issues with respect to uh, installation and everything please put a comment over there i'll solve your queries over there directly Thank you so much. Thanks for watching this video.